What's up YouTube, Jeff back again and today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you guys something that people ask about pretty often in my videos. You may have seen it uh, checking out my lock screen. Whenever I do a video, I've got this little hidden button down here at the bottom. I'm going to show you guys what this does and how to activate it in today's video. This button right there. Before we do that, uh, I do want to talk about the newest case I've been using with the Galaxy S23 Ultra. I've been waiting on this one. I had it last year for the S22 Ultra. A lot of people have been asking about this one coming out. This is the Magback case for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. I had one last year, like I said, people really like this case. What this allows you to do is it gives you Magback compatibility with your Samsung Galaxy phone. So just like iPhone users can stick wallets and stuff to the back of their phone, accessories, you can do that once you add the Magback case. Um, this also comes with the Magback Mag Sticks. Um, which allow you to mount the phone pretty much anywhere. It's a magnetic stick. You can mount it to your car. I'll have some B-roll right here. You guys can see how it works in my car. I have a mag stick set up in my SUV where I can mount my S23 Ultra kind of while I'm driving and check it out, use it for directions, whatever else I want to do, notifications, things like that. Mag stick is super helpful. They also sent me out once again, their um, Magback wallet right here. So the wallet itself, you can see here the packaging. There's the wallet. I actually have it over here. You can see how it works. Here's the wallet itself. You got a little ring you put right through it. Magnets right there. Stick on the back there. You can put your finger through the back right there. Kind of hold it. Use it, get some extra grip. Uh, you can fit a couple of cards in here overall. I've got just my business credit card in here right now, but you can fit like two or three cards in there comfortably. It loosens up over time. Um, the best thing about this case is one, it's got fully raised up edges, very protective. I actually already dropped my phone in this and it was perfectly fine. And then the other thing about this case is most magnetic cases don't work with the S Pen, but with the Magback case, the S Pen works 100% flawlessly. I have no problems using this with the Magback case. Now, if you do mount it to the mag sticks or you have other accessories on the back, sometimes that causes a little skipping, but I really haven't hit, had a problem even with the accessories mounted on the back. I'm a huge fan of the Magback case. It was one of my main cases in my rotation last year. It's got camera cutouts, you know, perfect form and finish and fit on everything. And it's all in one magnetic attachments so that you can get MagSafe compatibility, as well as, like I said, that great protection that they have, great drop protection. The Magback case also works with wireless charging, as you guys can see right here. Here's my Samsung wireless charger. Absolutely no problems with this particular case. Anyway, I'll drop the link below if you guys want to check out the Magback case. You can also check out all the accessories that come with the ecosystem. And there'll also be a discount code, which I'll put up here and in the pinned comment description if you guys would like to pick up one of the Magback cases. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into it today. I'm going to show you guys where you can get this hidden button and exactly what it does. And trust me, you're going to want to enable this. Um, this button actually is integrated with the Good Lock module um, Lockstar, which we've talked about a couple of times on the channel. So as usual, you'll need to go through Good Lock and make sure that you have the module installed. Of course, you can get that from the Galaxy Store. It's very simple to do. Once you do install Good Lock, um, the module is found on the Makeup section. It is actually the fourth app down. Go right here, tap on that. And then you'll want to see when you get in there, you have two different options. You have the lock screen option on the left. And then on the right, you have the option for the always on display. So for the always on display, I'm currently not using it actually mainly because with the always on display, I use it a lot when I'm driving. I have it set to automatically turn on when I'm driving so I can get quick glances or when I'm in meetings and things. But when I'm just in the studio uh, or when I'm in my office at the university, I don't keep it turned on. But tap on the lock screen over here. And there's actually a lot of stuff you can edit. But the main thing we're going to talk about first, and then I'll mention some of the other things I have enabled in case people are curious, is this button at the bottom. So on your device, you probably just have two shortcuts on your lock screen, one which is probably the phone and the other one which is the camera. But you can actually modify that in Lockstar. If you tap here at the bottom, you'll see that I have this little bar of a bunch of different app shortcuts. If you tap on that, this will allow you to edit using the little icon there the different type that you have. So you'll see here the one I mentioned, this is the one that comes by default right here. And this is the one where you just have the phone and the camera. So what you do is you change that to the one that I had enabled previously, and you can get six app shortcuts, up to six app shortcuts on your screen. Now there's a different alignments. And one thing I don't like about this, honestly, is that it doesn't have a centered alignment. It kind of drives me insane, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. You can choose from a right aligned um, a left aligned vertical, 
a left align horizontal and a right align vertical. So I have on the right align horizontal, that's my preference, but you can choose any of those. Now you can also edit the shortcuts. So obviously, as you can see, I already have all of them filled out. I've got Outlook, YouTube Studio, eBay, um, Google Chat, um, Spark, email, and Twitter, but you can go through and choose literally any of your apps and you can also search for them right there. Once you choose them, just hit apply and then hit save. And then that's gonna save your lock screen configuration. And then when you go back to the lock screen, you'll be able to go ahead and tap on this button right here and then all these will pop out. So then if I wanna to go to Twitter, I just hit Twitter, put in my fingerprint, it takes me directly to Twitter. So I think this is personally fantastic. Um, it's one of my favorite good lock tricks, modules, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, I really enjoy using this because it gives me more access to shortcuts and also you get the colored icons um, of whatever icon pack you're using. In this case, I'm using Aries Black. If you guys wanna check out the icons, I'll drop the link below. Um, that also shows up on your lock screen if you're using an icon pack. Now, the other things, of course, you can edit in here. You can also edit your time right here. You can change how that looks. You've got settings for changing that. Um, down here, change the clock style, change the scale. You can make the you know, bigger or smaller, whatever you wanna do. You can change where your music controls go. I actually like to move these down a little bit from the default so it doesn't mess up, you know, interfere with the notifications. Uh, you can change what messages are shown. You can actually remove this if you wanna move them up so that they're not so close to the icons, you can do that. Uh, up here, you can add stickers if you want to. Um, you can do that there as well. Oh, sorry, let me not do that because I wanna save my changes. Uh, you can also go to the top and remove the lock icon if you go here. You can actually change the lock icon, which a lot of people don't know. I think a lot of people don't know that either. There's a lot of cool tricks aside from just enabling the extra app shortcuts, but that's my personal favorite part of Lockstar. So when you save this, you go back and now you'll see I've got a red lock icon. A lot of people don't know about that trick either. So many things you can customize on your Samsung device that people just don't know about. And this is just another example. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this short tutorial. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. If you guys are interested in purchasing a Magback case or any of their accessories, highly recommend it. I've been using it now for a few weeks. Like I said, lots of great stuff with the ecosystem. Enable MagSafe, the S Pen still works, wireless charging works, great deal. Grab the coupon code I have over here. Huge shout out to them for sending out uh, this case for me to check out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.